Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. By the way, Island Federal doing the Island Federal virtual ticket blitz for Brothers Osborne tickets. All you have to do is go to islandfcu.com slash summer and sign up. You enter to win Brothers Osborne tickets for an extra chance to win. You could like their Facebook and Instagram page. So Island Federal, uh, the virtual ticket blitz, very easy. Just sign up at their website, Kim. Hey, I like that. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Easy. Very, very easy. Let me get this text here. I told you yesterday we were talking about, uh, I don't even know how the topic came up, people with different colored eyes. I don't know. Was it a day for those people or something? I don't know. Oh, maybe. I don't don't remember, but it came up in conversation, right? Yes, yes. And I said, leave it to my father. He will most likely... He'll know. Yeah, he'll Google. He'll send me a thing. Because I only knew about David Bowie. Um, That was an accident that occurred. He really didn't have two different color eyes. Go ahead. So what I'm reading here is heterochromia is a person with different colored eyes. Oh. Or eyes that have more than one color. And then there's an article here, 39, we don't have to go through them all, but 39 celebrities that have different colored eyes. Uh, Number one on their list is Mila Kunis. I didn't realize that. I've seen her eyes. They look to be the same color. Might be slight, might be multiple colors in an Mm. eye or something. She does have... Huge, beautiful eyes. Have yes. to look at that again. Yes, she does. Let's let's take the day and stare into Mila Kunis's yes. eyes. Yes. What color is that? I thought they were the same. Kate Bosworth has really? different colored eyes. Yes. I didn't know that either. Yes. Are they wearing contacts to make them the same? And no. I'm I'm being fooled. Oh, that's you know what? That's possible. I I didn't even think of that. Very hmm. possible. Um. So like Bosworth, it says here, uh, one is a uh is all blue, and then the other is a darker hazel, if you look closely. Kiefer Sutherland, two different colored eyes, Candy. Hmm, I've looked at him a long time, never noticed that. How about this? Jane Seymour, two never different colored eyes. Never noticed that. Yeah. Yes, you she's... know when she was a cowgirl on that show or whatever that was? Well, she's got one brown eye, one green eye. Wow. Yes, but you're right. They could just put a pair of contacts in, Candy. They could. Absolutely. Now, this is a famous one. You would not know. But if you're a baseball fan, you probably do. The uh, great pitcher from the Washington Nationals, Max Scherzer, has two very distinct color eyes, Candy. Oh. One is very dark, like brown, and one is quite light, like really light blue. It's really interesting. Yeah, and it goes on. I'll, I'll I'll go through a couple of these. Elizabeth Berkley from Saved by the Bell. What? Yeah, uh, Bill Pullman, the great actor hmm. Bill Pullman. All right. Uh, Alice Eve, the actress. Henry Cavill, the actor. Huh. Uh, and it goes well, on. Mine are both just brown. Lord of the Dance, Michael Flatley. Get out of here. Yeah, is uh, Olivia Wilde. What? <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. I'm re- Stop it. I looked at Dan Aykroyd for many, many years. Come on. Christopher Walken. Well, maybe yeah. him. He always looks a little crazy. Demi Moore. I mean, it goes on and on, Candy. I mean, Virginia wow. Madsen. I, I'll just stop now. Robert uh, Downey I, Jr. Robert no da- way. Robert, no way. Here's the article. Robert Downey Jr. wears tinted glasses or sunglasses that make it difficult to tell. Um, he has... Uh, what does it say? Pa- oh, he has partial heterochromia. He has chocolate brown flecks in each eye, Candy. Yeah. Well, I have little flecks of amber. Well, look, I'm, bit. I'm just telling you, it's not always a but completely... they're both the same. Right. It's not always a completely different color eye. Sometimes it's multiple colors mm. in an eye. And anyway, so there you go. There's There's probably more than you ever wanted to know. Yeah. Now I'm going to really that. start looking at people's eyes. That's it now. Yeah. Uh, Candy, do you know the average person? A couple of quick uh, quick things that are going on online. The average person is expected to eat 39 scoops of ice cream this summer. Wow. Yes or no? No. Definitely not? My stomach not? couldn't handle that. No. A little at a time. No. I think the only ice cream I've Back had so in the far, day? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not a huge ice cream guy anymore. I'm just yeah, not. Me either. Uh, I used to be. I used to be when we we'd go, you know, we each got a pint, 
back in those days. Now, this might be correct for me because even though I don't eat a lot of ice cream, I'd say so far this summer, I've had two ice cream bars that maybe Dana bought that were in the freezer. And I've had like two bowls of ice cream that had like three scoops in each. So if you say a bar is like two or three scoops each, I'm probably up to about 12 to 15 scoops, Ken. Oh, wow. (laughs) Boy, that comes on quick. It does. The scoops come quick. So uh, we'll see how the rest of my summer goes. Oh, and here's a warning for those of you who may be on TikTok and see people taking magic erasers and using them on their teeth to make their teeth white candy. Yeah. A dentist got on and said, please don't use magic erasers on your teeth. It's like sandpaper. It's stripping the enamel. That oh. is why your teeth are so white. Oh, so, stripping. Oh, that's not good. You let, can't get it back. That's right. the problem. So uh, try not to do that. Do- no, I'll just keep my yellow teeth. It's fine. Yeah, make, make sure. Uh, th- that's a public service for Thank a- you. anyone in our audience thinking of doing that. Thanks. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.